yo, we're back. Like Siamese twins. <laughs> I'm killing it with this bars, man. Welcome back to another episode of Zazza Verse of the Month. My name is Mukudze Ulavo, and in the next 20 minutes or so, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 fire MC verses in Zim Hip Hop for the month of March. Now, before we get started, I'm reminded that I always have to say this, so let me just say it now. I'm not starting this video until you subscribe. So we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so help us get us there. Hit that subscription uh, button, hit that notification bell, do leave a like on the video if you enjoy it as well and we get it popping good great let's do it starting things off coming through at number 10 is kiki badass on 1000 bars on the frosty zim celebs rhythm <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go out and say it. it was getting a little bit awkward not having Kiki on these lists. I think she made honorable mentions on the last month or the month before that. I, I forgot, but she comes through strong on this one and on this particular rhythm as well. Um, she stood out and she was very comfortable, probably only second or third to Nati O and Anita Jackson. That's that's how great she was. The song, well, the freestyle is literally called 1000 Bars and she brings it. One of the things that you will notice uh, from Kiki's career, if you are a big fan, uh, you notice that her lyricism has gone up levels i mean go listen to her album bloodline and you see what i'm talking about i mean she has some nice quotables on this verse says i'm a wordsmith no relation to will and jada i mean yes of course you're gonna say that but my favorite bar was uh, that's a dollar sign i speak in sign language like i'm saying it badly obviously but when she says it it's great it's it's super smooth and then she closes off saying what's up with the silence a destiny was calling but your phone was on silent <laughs> yeah it's clever and it's witty and i like it i like it that's our number 10 kiki badass that's a dollar sign, I speak to a sign language I'm a cut up by the rest Which is Katira and I'm all gonna do from sort of chandelier How many years? So many years All right, coming through with number nine is Sivo on Ride featuring Denim Woods Sometimes I worry that I can't feel Like I have a heart of steel It was easier back then I mean, this is a really cute song Like, literally, I mean some songs you just like some really cool storytelling it's very straight to the point it has a nice story in there you kind of visualize exactly what she's talking about and also very vulnerable so i like that i mean it's verse of the month it doesn't mean we're all going to be talking about metaphors throughout okay sometimes there's room for verses like this and i like it because you know other people we want to be telling you about i'm the best rapper i'm amazing i'm all of this but i like this it is a nice cute breakup love song ish type and it's great it's great i think six more bars of her verse and she'll probably be way higher than she really is on on this list that's it i mean it's not verse of the month without me complaining about the length of verses and you will see as we <laughs> you see as we go up but Sibo coming through strong as well big shout out to Jenny Woods man with the hook it fits in seamlessly with her story and I love it I, I absolutely love it pretty chill and straight to the point that's our number 9 better off alone spend a lot of nights at home all they see is flesh and bone now it's all about my soul I do usually do this Coming through at number 8 is the ever-present Muse on another installment of Free Bars Friday. Here go another joint And at this point I'm pretty sure that you know that I'm about to drop another joint See I've been fiddling with dates on when to release Yo man, uh, Muse really makes our job really really hard because this dude drops every week and sometimes you want to ignore it but you can't ignore it so it ends up being here and but probably by the end of the year if he keeps up with his work ethic he's gonna have like 10 or whatever uh, nominations on verse of the month but really really strong okay the reason this particular verse is this low i mean it's great on a technical level but muse's biggest weakness is his strength okay i don't want to say weakness maybe let me say he's only competing with himself his competition is himself because i believe on this list he can write better than 95% of everyone on this list so when I listened to that freestyle I was expecting 
a way higher level and he was rapping way below his level which i know he can do but then again this is something that you do every friday so you're bound to to, to slack a little bit but it was it was great he's a great voice great flow um, great cadence everything i i absolutely love it and he had a cool nando scheme in there and but it was predictable for me like I, I knew that as soon as you say nando's flow you're going to talk about mild and lemon and herb and all of these things i just expected more that's how much i rate this guy as a writer because i know because i really really know that he is impeccable do check out his ep god it is out and uh you know what i'm talking about this that nando's flow lemon pepper wash it down with a ginger refreshment that's just a basic stony reference all right this is where it gets a little bit grisly and a little bit tighter all right coming through at number seven it is Ray Kaz on Speak About It Freestyle. It's a lot, and he prays to Jehovah, my Jesus is Lord. We did not dare to drop the dope, now he cleaned it for more. All right, man, I just want to say I'm really hurt by Ray Kaz, man, because this dude is a beast. Like, if you don't know about him, like, go check out his song, 97. Um, it should be on all streaming platforms, and you know what I'm talking about. I really feel like with what he was talking about on this, he really should just go into the studio, recorded it, mixed, mastered it, and it came out clean. The only reason it is this low is because of the sound quality. That's it. I can't play it twice, you know. But lyricism is up there. Like the flow, everything from themes, it is well rounded and I love it. And it is the most bar heavy verse that we have um, in this month. And I, I was really hurt, man, because without the subtitles it, it would have been hard for anyone to um to pick up the things that he was talking about so ray Kaz, i really would appreciate it if you go and record this tune and then you put it out it, as a freestyle as, as, as something but you know what i just want to go through some of the bars on this verse because man <laughs> they are crazy this dude says i don't watch trailers uh today movies i've seen it before that's not even that's not even half of it he even says uh, still they stay for credit at the end this ain't no marvel flick <laughs> this dude was in his bag man like he was writing for his life he says um it's more like adidas galore mixed with a zebra for sure how i end my stripes i'm married to the bills got me feeling like hillary chill what um i i couldn't kid with the younger me i'm a top overall like a dungaree hey <laughs> yo <laughs> student was writing for his life man and and i love it and then my, my last favorite bar from this was i was a kid who graduated and now i'm a master to some degree it's those simple things and how you manage to incorporate it all while talking about something that deep is that great could have been now number one could have been our number one or even maybe number two i don't want to i don't want to remove credit from our number one but that's that's how great it was ray cares this is my plea go out and record this because this is fire coming through at number six is drastic the authentic with ghetto I'm from the neighborhood located next to the granite side industries. Sunningo is the zone. Some people they call it Kong. One, the place that I feel like a lot of people are kind of waiting for this one because we're getting a lot of tags from this. And you know, I I, I was waiting for this song before you know before it, like the video dropped and everything. I was super excited for it. But Drastics first verse on this. Ah oh, man, it's crazy. Like this dude can rap like the, sometimes that's all you gotta say the guy can rap and he can rap really 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 well um you know visuals crazy hook crazy the beat crazy the dude is talking about his hood and you know gives you a real clear picture like from the first verse gives you the real clear picture of sunningdale like from uh, the lingo that they use from the culture that is there from the type of people that you find there and i like it where he seamlessly as well switches from um english to vernacular it is great like i really expect to see more of this guy on this list and i loved this tune it has crazy uh, replay value um as well like 
you can tell he's you can tell he's a writer like a true a true pure uh, lyricist and you know it, it showed you yeah, from a, from a technical point of view as well it really showed like i just want to say there are two types of rappers that you're gonna find on this show uh, there will be those that excel um on a technical level that the bars are a little bit lower um and then there are those who excel um at a lyrical level where the technique would be lower like you might not like their flow you might not like their cadence um or whatever and i think even from our last winner of last month's first of the month something like that happened you know where um jungle locos verse crazy bars but you might not like his flow totally understandable same thing here crazy you know crazy crazy flow crazy technique and everything not too bar heavy it's just nice narration about somebody's hood and makes you want to go to Sunningdale. Love it. The United States of Acadia, Benny Sunningdale, St. Martin's Bristol and Acadia. Tine kangwe ka unu, jala vano, tichi kara, di costino, dakus papa. And the way we talk is different, Anna. We cutting, we jolly, now we booting tonight. We just try it. All right, coming through with number five. We're halfway through and it's Sky with my sports. Feeling the vision, starting my ignition, cause you could have pushed the first position. Big up yourself, I'm a magician, cause you got that sauce dripping in the kitchen, we finna obliterate the competition. All right, so something that you didn't know, uh, we actually did a video on Sky as one of the top five artists that you probably never know about. Uh, you might show it here, but uh, my director and co-producer Bongani uh, lost the audio and therefore the video couldn't come out. <laughs> Part two of that video. Sadly, anyways, with that being said, let's talk about this verse, man. It's called my sports, and this dude was rapping for his life, yo. <laughs> like, it, it, it almost felt like eight mile. Like, you know, you only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. Literally, this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Like, that's what they told him. It's like, you're going on Nash TV, and the dude was like, I'm going to write the most comprehensive verse of all time <laughs> and he did and he did i mean it struggles to find uh, its footing a bit it starts very slow but then it really picks up and this dude goes into beast mode i mean i love his voice and his flow is impeccable um and it's called my sports because why there are a lot of sports bars but before we get into those sports bars i want to say we went through our previous verse of the month episodes and we realized that a lot of Zim rappers, well, a lot of you guys, you love football and sports related bars and punchlines. Like, yo, we're gonna put a counter here so that you will see, we're gonna be counting this because I know it's not the last time that these bars, these sports bars are gonna be coming into, into, into your songs. So let's get into some of these sports bars in my sports. Dude goes on to say, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, your money, Muri Ana Yamolenko. Uh, you know, like it has no bearing whatsoever. It's just saying I'm a better rapper than you. That's it. That's 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 literally um, <laughs> what it means. Like Leo Messi finna hit you with a panenka, like a panenka penalty. It's a sports bar. It has nothing. It's just dude expressing himself that I am a better rapper than you and you guys are whack. Only con that I have for this verse, it's great, picks up halfway till the end, but it's too long. It's too long for me, needed a bit of a hook in there or something, a bridge. Cause this dude man was rapping like they have his family hostage, okay? Like they were gonna kill his family if he doesn't kill this freestyle. <laughs> that's how it felt like you know kind of like kind of like how asaf raps when he's on a track with with harare dudes you know like asaf raps like he's rapping for the whole city of Blawai. like i'm going to be representing that that's how i felt about this guy <laughs> this guy verse go listen to it you, you know what i'm talking about but absolutely love it sky smashed it go check out his other songs there's one called heavy beta there's one called Usan, Usan Terere. it's amazing Go check him out. Kunga nyami nyami, married to the game. Don't gani wami. Claiming to be the best to the gochereko. I'm sorry, your money moved on. I am a lenko. Papa no da kundi piring gisha do vanjenga salio mese fin hit him with the panenka. Coming through at number four is Don's verse on Pro Sansa How I See Me featuring Bright 360. You can see me how 2020 me. really had to hold my plans right down. I thought I have a home and own some fucking land by now. I thought I'd be stacking bands and blowing grands by now. I thought them buys and would have an OnlyFans by now. And don't care if I'm Yep, man. Uh, this kid is exactly the rapper that he thinks he is. Like, you 
you can tell like from the confidence that he exudes in this verse in any other verse before like i listened to some of his stuff before that and yeah like he knows like yeah i'm, I'm amazing i'm amazing he has a really good voice doesn't sound forced um, on everything and, and I love it. I mean, you have to be a confident rapper to be able to say, uh, I thought Mimbai Zimuto would have an OnlyFans by now. <laughs> that's, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. But overall, great verse. I mean, this dude manages to capture the whole struggle of being a Zimbabwean youth um, in this economy. But he says it so well and raps so well about it that you forget that that's what he's talking about because you kind of rap along uh, to it. Talks about how I thought uh, I was going to have a piece of land by now in, in you know, in, in 2020, but we all know what happened in 2020. And, you know, it goes on to talk about a whole lot of things um, in that theme. I think the only problem I have is that he finishes a little bit weaker. Uh, there are a little bit of floor switch patterns, which which are cool but when he does uh, finish at the end it's kind of lower than than how he started so i really wish like people would start strong finish strong that's all we want that's literally uh, all we want but overall a uh, great verse some of the bars felt, felt a little bit labored because kind of went off beat a little bit talking about uh you know these girls are doing this are unfaithful or whatever Come on, let's stick to the point. <laughs> let's stick. Let's stick to the theme. All right. But Dawn killed it, man, and y'all should go check him out. Absolutely amazing. Wrong click. With your fake avatars from your sluts who catfish fall in love. Now nah, I'd rather suck a cactus. Don't get played by these hoes or they lustful tactics. I pimp her while I spoil her so the bucks can balance. One minute she just innocent. You trust and manage, then switch on you when she twerking like the bus yeah. challenge. Moving on to numero tres, uh, that is uh, V I. I'm kidding. Six the law is our number three on his freestyle. Swear I'm like a surfer while I'm riding on these wave files. Like my initials, I'm spitting like this is eight mile. I see a bunch of parents is making appearances like cameo. Bars. That's all I gotta say, man. Bars. Student, his pen is levels. Ah, uh, six the law can write. He's also our verse of the month winner for January. So he started off. Uh, 2021 uh, on a high and we're waiting for another one and they also got featured by Stogie T on Freestyle Fridays amazing stuff but let's get into this one man and he doesn't stop still the same level uh, of greatness I think the only problem that I have uh, with this freestyle is that it felt like it was a first take like it wasn't as smooth you know like I, you know, you, you write something and then you wrapped it on the spot. It, that's how it felt like. That's how it felt like. I feel like if he recorded this seven or 20 days, okay, maybe like seven days after he, he wrote it, you know, it would come out a little bit uh, smoother, but still, still a crazy pin, still got crazy bars. And, you know, I was making that face like on everything that he wrote here because, well, not everything, some of the things were a little bit more labored and some of the lines didn't quite hit but the ones that did hit they hit they hit let's go through some of them let's go through some of them uh goals like lacrosse improving my network that's a sports bar so that goes up here <laughs> he says uh, everybody's sliding into dms like carpe ah man it's those simple yet subtle clever you know writing that is that is just pristine, man. And I, I love this dude's pen. I love this dude's pen because it's not too complex that it goes to over your head, but it's that clever that you get it and you're like, I love it. Yeah, and my favorite bar from this freestyle, he says, uh, if you got beef, let's Bryson like Tiller. Ah, <laughs> the way play. Yo, uh, dudes are writing, man. Hip hop, hip hop it is safe. Like they, there's no better way to say it. Six the low, uh, out here, dropping bars selling nfts it's it's crazy <laughs> shout out to you man absolutely love it but this is godly design heaven sent watch the way i get my point across goals like lacrosse improving my net worth dropping bars prison break i'm on my went worth miller if you got beef let's bryson like tiller but make a cinematic king kong godzilla coming through at number two is young tyrant with written in blood. I'm trying to body any obstacle they form against me. The only rule that's in my code of ethics. The ones they guess and really not impressive. Like I said earlier, there's some verses that are just great. 
as is like you are just invested in them you are emotionally invested in them like it's just that good when the flow is on point when the delivery on point when the subject matter is on point when thematically and sonically everything comes together even without like heavy lyrical miracle i mean your swimming pool and dipping pools and you know you know what i'm talking about and that's what this verse is by young tyrant now given a little conflicted because um not really sure like is he sim hip-hop or is he south african hip-hop but he's hip-hop at the end of the day well i i looked up his bio and he now seems to identify as as a south african I don't know. I, I just blame you, Zimbabweans. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> but he's a great, he's a great rapper, and should be in your top tens and top fives. I, I don't know why no one talks about this because he's never dropped a weak project, and his new EP, Memento Mori, amazing. You should go check it out. But I loved, uh, I loved this track. I loved this whole verse and what it was about. Like. He wasn't really boasting and he didn't try too hard and it was just leveled it 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 was complete it was comprehensive a masterpiece i loved it i loved it and even the bars they are witty and they are just neat they don't they're not too pretentious you know when someone writes and you're like yeah you're trying you're trying too hard to make that a punchline but this dude it's it's simple like he just says uh it don't shock me because it's not electric you know uh but that's below me like the budget that they plan to invest with like small things you're talking about yourself about the value uh, that you have as an artist and still dropping gems like that i like it i definitely like it go check out his ep young tyrant amazing 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 stuff and written in blood is our number two but that's below me like the budgets they plan to invest with a plus whenever i'm tested young king my heart is majestic my nights in order but a point is and before we get into number one as usual here's some honorable mentions bro show mouse done i started this rap thing in o2 but for now i call me old school kumedu da medu da daily over in the team round tava kuseri vakazama kundisuka kundipinza mjeri shampo pondo ya zara mbeli mahabu no ya blackberry i see back If the fighting on the road was for the church folk may i talk a little shit opinions if you wanna the maybe wanna smoke to get you such a cheer in my aim cuz when you tested me you asked me to reveal what's been concealed in my brain you should complain on a regular i was the prayer on a regular uh, double cup of cooler plotting about the gold mine stashed in my computer gold out of mind your day that is a hooter and tari mpambare ware ware se pabisa utare when we re a tare musanyara za re tare i think got to fire some through a number one is CMK on Amachira Lama Bass Cypher. Hey, it's good to get like a has of a two one tell again, do the tell and like a lama cuckoo cuckoo. Easily the best verse from the cypher. I mean, CMK is amazing. And she is grossly, grossly underrated, man. I mean, you, yeah. But she, she absolutely killed this. And probably there was a reason why she finished last because that's how you close off a track, man. That's how you close off a cipher. Absolutely love this, man. And you know what? It starts off like she starts off in Venek with a lot of assonance and alliteration, but it's not one of those like no substance rhyming patterns where you're just saying a lot of. clicks and you know a lot of repeated syllables it's not that it's it has a purpose and it sounds cool and she doesn't drag it too much so it stays on a proper level it's not too contrived it's not too conceited and her confidence and her aura when she raps like you can tell she knows like yeah i'm that chick i'm i'm i'm, I'm that girl right there man and absolutely loves it switches over to english and she she bodies that like usually you can tell the transition but seamless here and she absolutely owns it man you i loved it i loved everything about this i loved everything about this uh, the bars that she spits on the um, her flow was really good like a voice she's cocky but not too much like it's well balanced and and i love it like some some of the bars that she drops here Dude, like even from the Venek bars, to uh, Kalama Kenge, Beti Punju Punju Nyegele, like this, that. 
Absolutely killing it. Like, like we said, man, like, you know, the ladies are well represented and we love it. And some of my favorite English bars, obviously, there has to be a sports bar there. So she says, um, a Guardiola pep talk, I should coach niggas. So we have to add that because it's another sports bar, but, but still amazing, right? Because it's clever, it's 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 cool, it's cool, it's it's right there. You pep Guardiola pep talk, it's right there. So you write it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, another favorite bar of mine. Uh, she says, "I'm big headed. I'm some, I'm stewy in the mix. I'm a bully with some tits." <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to say. <laughs> are, are we? Are we? Uh, let me ask my producer. Are, are we uh, a, a PG channel? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> but but it was great, man. Uh, she she absolutely uh, bodies this, man. Like every everything about it, you know. It's obviously it's not deeply bar heavy, but it's got enough bars, and it leaves you wanting. Like literally, when we're listening to this verse, we're like, ah, oh, it's too soon. But then I was like, nah, man. That's how you drop it. You're supposed to give people enough until they want more, and they wanted more of this verse. And that's it. <laughs> that's our number one CMK coming through with this of the month. With that being said, I've been Mukutim Lambo as always, man. Uh, do remember to tag us when you drop. Uh, you had a lot of people say, hey, why didn't you include? Tag us. Tag us so that we see. We can't curate everyone. We can't see everything. We will miss some things. Okay, so DM us and Zazi Media uh, on, on everything on social media. That's on Twitter, Instagram. Um, and Facebook, we are there. And importantly, let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree. We want to know your top 10. We can be the voice for everything. So you let us know uh, who you would have put as your number one. And we love to see it. And with that, we're out. <laughs>